Hey my creators, welcome back. We're already in the craft room today, so let's get busy. All right, we're gonna take two chargers that I got at the Dollar Tree. And I didn't worry about taking the stickers off. I'm going to take those little cubes. Those are just the little wooden cubes from Dollar Tree as well. And this is just to space the two chargers apart just a little so that the ping pong balls that we are going to use fit in there like perfectly. going to take some of my E6000 quick hold. You could use regular E6000 or whatever other kind of glue you like, super glue or something. And then I'm going to put half E6000 and half hot glue. And that way it gets that good strong hold, but it also gets a quick hold. And I do that on each and every one of these little cubes. And then I push them down really well, um, just so they're stuck together really good. And then once I get through doing all of those, then I go back on the top side and do the same thing. I put half of the quick hold and half of the hot glue and then put the other charger on top. And then I hold it down really tight. I want, it, want there to be a really good strong hold so that those charger plates don't come apart. Once I do hold that there for a minute, then I do go back with my hot glue and just add a little bit extra around kind of the base of each of those wood cubes just so it's like a super strong hold. You probably wouldn't have to do that because you're going to be gluing the ping pong balls. <laughs> so it's going to get, you know, glued together really well, but I'm just OCD so I always go back and overdo things, I'm sure. <laughs> Anyone else do that? Or is it just me? Now I'm taking my ping pong balls. You can get your ping pong balls at um, Dollar Tree if you want. Since I was going to be using so many of them and I'm actually going to be using them in some future projects as well. I bought a huge bag of them on Amazon just because you can get a huge bag for I think it was like seven or eight dollars and there's like 500 or a thousand in there so you get a ton. So just whichever if you're not ever going to use them for anything else just get them at the Dollar Tree that's fine. I'm taking a little bit of hot glue and I'm putting it where the balls are actually touching and then once I get that held in there exactly where I want it then I go back in with my smaller tipped glue gun and I put a little bit of hot glue on the top and bottom of the ball where it touches the charger plate and I'm going to repeat that over and over. I did put a little bit of super glue in there as well and Honestly, I shouldn't even have done that. That super glue gel for some reason, and I may just be using it wrong, but it didn't dry. Even after like 30 minutes of sitting there, it was still wet. So I actually only used that on the first few of them. And then after that, I didn't use it anymore. I just used hot glue. So that's kind of a personal preference, whatever you prefer. And then you're going to continue doing this around the entire rim of the chargers. Here I'm just going back and cleaning up some of the, it's hard to get that hot glue on without getting the little strings and stuff. And I was able to get the strings off with my heat tool, but there were some pieces of glue like stuck on. So I kind of just went back with my X-Acto knife and scraped it off. Then I'm going to get a leftover bowl from last week's 
DIY and I'm gonna put it on the bottom as the stand part of the cake stand. Then I took it outside and spray painted it with Rust-Oleum Khaki spray paint. And now I'm gonna take my Waverly Antiquing Wax and Waverly Chalk Paint and Truffle and I'm going to use both of those to do my distressing or dry brushing that will make it look like wood. So I take my um, stencil brush that is from the Dollar Tree, you can see it there in my hand, and I'm going to just kind of dip it in lightly in both the antique wax and the truffle, and then you make sure to kind of spounce it off, like just kind of dab it off, and then go back and just kind of dry brush it on, just like you would with a regular chip brush. Um, this stencil brush works well for that because it's got those good stiff bristles on it. And then you're just going to continue doing that over the entire top of the plate. I also did the bottom, the stand, and then I also did the ping pong balls. And that way you get that wood look to it. And I thought it turned out really well, like it really does look like wood. So you'll have to let me know what you think in the comments down below. Does it look like wood to you? Today's video is in collaboration with Annalie Ashby over at Ashby University. Um, make sure to go check out her channel if you've never been over there. She does some of the cutest farmhouse DIYs that I have ever seen. So make sure you go over there, show her some love, and subscribe to her channel. Give her a thumbs up. Thanks, Annalie, for collabing with me. This is just a quick little bonus DIY, I guess. I'm gonna take a little foam ball from the Dollar Tree and some of the nautical rope. I just wanted some little decor pieces to go along with my other DIYs I was creating. And I'm literally going to just glue, with my hot glue, the rope to the ball. And we're gonna get this cute, like rustic little, just decor type ball that you can put in a bowl on your coffee table. You can put it on a candle stand. You can put it like anywhere and it looks so cute and gives such a cute little touch of just farmhouse to your place. And I'm gonna go quickly. I glued the entire thing just so that the rope would stay on there really well. You probably wouldn't have to do that. You could do every other row or something. But I just knew that I would probably use this for a long period of time. So I went ahead and made sure it was glued down well. And let me know. Make sure before you leave um, down in the comments if you liked any of these. Which one was your favorite? If you did like it, give me a thumbs up. Give me any input that you, that you want to. I'm always up for constructive criticism. Just as long as you're not rude, that hurts my feelings. <laughs> so I'm going to finish gluing this off. And then I'm going to take what's left over of the rope. And I'm going to take that small little golf ball. It came in that pack of three over there to the right of the screen. And I'm going to do a miniature version as well. I did go through with my lighter and burned off all of those little strings. It just makes it look a lot more high-end if you do that because it doesn't have all those little scraggly strings everywhere. But you're going to do the same thing here. And look how cute these turn out for like hardly any money. I wanted to hop in for just a minute and tell you guys I am so sorry. So I started off filming with my phone for YouTube and lately I've tried to upgrade my system so that you guys would have better quality videos. So this is why I wanted to hop in for just a second. Um, I've been having a lot of technical difficulties trying to figure out how to use my new camera and my new setup, etc. So when I was filming this, <laughs> One of the clips did not film, and it was for these adorable candle 
holders, I guess is what you would call them. The problem with that is it didn't film, so I thought, well, I can just refilm it. Well, I already had them glued together, and I could only find five of these, the big glass ball decors that they have at the Dollar Tree. So I only had five of them. That's all I could find. And when I tried to pull them apart, the glue, like that glue I used was like the best glue I've ever used and it will not come apart. So I'm going to film a little section where I use ping pong balls just so I can show you what I did because I really want you guys to see this DIY. Ah, it kills me that this did not get filmed. <laughs> so um, I'm going to film with ping pong balls and a little piece of cardboard that I found just so you can see how I put it together. If I can find any more of these glass ball decors at Dollar Tree, I will refilm this for you so that you can see exactly what I did. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below or go over to Instagram and DM me and I will answer them. I just really wanted you guys to see this because they were so stinking cute. So I'm sorry, big air hugs. Okay, now here is our make-believe DIY. I'm gonna use this Total Tech from the original Super Glue. This is some of the best glue I have ever used in my life. Now on the bottom of these ceramic balls, there is a hole. So what I did is I kind of took in fourth sections and I did like a little bit of the super glue, total tech glue, and then a little bit of hot glue. So I kind of did four sections. Two of the sections that were across from each other, I did the super glue and two of the other sections that were across from each other, I did hot glue. And that way I got that, you know, immediate hold, but I also got that strong hold. And then I just made sure to line them up. And like I said, this is just a pretend because oh, I hate that, that this <laughs> did not film. And I do plan on trying to find some more of these balls so that I can show you in real life. But I hope you get what I'm talking about here where, um, like I said, I glue like little, a fourth of the bottom of the ball around the hole that's on the bottom. Make sure you're lining it up as you go. And then when you get to the top, you're going to kind of do the same thing. I actually put the glue on the bottom of the plate and I put the super glue right in the center. And then once I got it put on there, then I kind of went back with some hot glue just so it would hold it in place for a minute. And I'm going to show you here in just a second, I'm going to pick up the pieces that I just glued together. And I literally did this about five minutes before and I'm going to hold it in my hand and shake it and this thing is not coming apart. And normally if the hot glue was just holding it, that would have fallen apart on me. And it is stuck. I could not get these apart to try to refilm it. So I love these so much. What do you guys think? I went with terracotta on this. I thought that goes a little bit farmhouse. You could also do like a plain flat black or something, just whatever matches your decor. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Like I said, I'm super sorry about that one that didn't actually film. It still breaks my heart because that was one of my favorite ones from today. So I promise I will refilm that if I can find any more of those balls at the Dollar Tree. So, um, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I love all of my new friends and I wanted to give a big quick shout out to one of my viewers, my new friends. Her name is Jen and she is the sweetest thing. She noticed I hadn't filmed in about a week and she sent me a message on Instagram and asked if I was okay because she noticed I hadn't filmed and she was missing my videos. And I had told her that I had been suffering with a kidney stone for a few days and that's why I hadn't had a chance to film. That sweet little Jen sent me a package and that was my first ever like friend mail that I've ever gotten from a viewer and it was the cutest little pig and if you guys have watched me for very long you know I love pigs like I collect them any kind of pig for my house 
stuffed animals, little knickknacks that sit around, towels. I mean, anything that has a pig on it, I'm your girl. And she sent me a pig and it had a little pig card that said, you cured yet? Oh my gosh, Jen, you made my day. And just thank you for being my first viewer that's ever sent me anything. And it was the sweetest thing ever and really made my day. So thank you guys so much for watching my videos. I love each and every one of you and hope to see you next time.